this is Willie with the Basement Kings. We're in Hillsboro, Texas, where a uh, foundation wall is leaking. Now, this is a little bit higher than what we would consider a crib wall. But on the other side, we put in a drain and water is coming in through the walls. Uh, now, right after waterproofing is applied, it takes a little time for it to crystallize. But if you have a situation where there's cracks in the wall, and no one told anyone, which is the case, then the back walls may leak because there may be cracks in the floor that runs right over towards it and the real wall will find its way leaking. As you can look, you can tell that there were pins. You can see the little pin marks. There were pin holes in the wall. See it? See the drill pieces? Let me move over so you can actually see it. See these tie holes? These holes here? They will actually leak. They were not treated because they were not included. And no one said, hey, this was a problem on the inside. And now you can see over here, there's look like there's a parging on the wall. Parging is a mixture of concrete mixed up. And they put more concrete on it, thinking that that's going to solve the problem. It's not going to solve the problem. Waterproofing is. And you'll be able to see the penetration marks of those that would need to be grouted and waterproofed in order for that water to be able to stop. And this is the final. So what we're going to do is, is we'll treat it with two coats of waterproofing, fill in those uh, penetrations with grout, and then we will waterproof it. And just like we would a basement wall or any other uh, subgrade structure, and the water will stop. So now that we've seen it, let's get busy. Hello, thanks for watching. If you like our video, then please subscribe or visit us at thebasementkings.net. Thank you and have an excellent day.